Hi everybody, I'm Susie, Intuitive Creator, and this is your three card reading for the 27th of May to the 3rd of June 2018. As always, I've shuffled some cards for you, and the first card today is the Three of Swords. Now the Three of Swords looks at the hurt and pain that we hold on to, and also talks about the challenges and events that we all go through. So each challenge that you create that you encounter does create initial pain, which you know inevitably in the long run we can turn into an opportunity to grow stronger and change the directions of our lives as a result of the lessons that we have learned from the situation or event that has occurred around us. So sometimes you know the pain may cloud our, our vision of where it is that we're going for a period of time but it will eventually allow you to see clearly and put the past behind you it's so important that we do put the past behind us that we're living in the present moment we all experience hurt pain grief loss guilt and all of those emotions but it's important that we learn the lessons that came from those experiences so that we can not only let go of those emotions but leave the past in the past so that we can be fully present in this present moment and make the most of you know each of these present moments so sometimes life can seem a little bit meaningless uh, you know at, at certain points and you know recovery can occur from that if you can deal with the emotions it's going to take you know faith self-love forgiveness and time to get over any pain that you're holding on to so start counting your blessings start putting a gratitude practice into place so that you can see everything that you are grateful for in this present moment it's so so important it is time to release you know if you've suffered a major setback or loss it's a good time to let those emotions out okay rather than suppressing them and perhaps pretending that you know everything is okay and you know that that you can carry on we do have to release those emotions we can then have a look at what that lesson came in to teach us and that will allow us to acknowledge it and you know let go and move forwards okay you know we have to have a cleansing process so you know if you feel the need to express your sadness and let it all out um it will help you to move forwards to better times okay but it is important like i say you know if you um you know keep focusing on loss if you keep focusing on guilt um you know anger frustration and all of those negative emotions you're going to constantly stay stuck in the past it is definitely time to start moving forwards it's time to learn the lessons of the you know experiences and circumstances and situations that you've experienced let go of guilt okay that's really really important that's an emotion that we all tend to hold on to let go of the you know what ifs what if i'd done this what if i'd done things differently what if what if you know things happen and they happen for a reason and the the circumstances situation and people that come into our lives come in for a reason okay they're there to help us to learn teach us to grow so what ifs really aren't going to serve you okay so let go of all the emotions that you're holding on to okay it's time to let go of the past and you know start moving forwards and start enjoying the present moment okay because that really is all we have in moving forwards okay so your second card is the knight of coins now the knight of coins is all about standing up for yourself for setting boundaries um, with things that you need as well so you know give yourself time to grieve to let go of guilt and all of those kind of things but perhaps put a boundary in place with it you know give yourself so much time to you know acknowledge what was going on to forgive yourself to forgive others most importantly okay so put some boundaries in place it's also time to start looking at what's important to you as well so that you can really start standing in your own power the suit of coins is very much 
about you know our finances and security stability and all of those kind of things so it's when you start to stand in your power that you stand up for what you believe in that you um you know that you know what your values and your beliefs are that you really can start showing up authentically and you can start to release this mask that's here okay so perhaps you know you're too kind-hearted and you give in to everybody else and you don't have chance to do things for yourself that's another time that we need to put boundaries in place with ourselves put boundaries in place with others of course as well but perhaps you know making some time for yourself every day so 30 to 60 minutes where you can do whatever it is that you want to do in those 30 minutes you know whether it's giving yourself time to grieve whether it's giving yourself time to connect with your higher self to meditate you know whatever it is put boundaries in place so that you're giving yourself some self-love and self-care as well because that is really important so some boundaries definitely need to be set this week so what boundaries do you need to set that are going to help you to move forwards the third card this week is temperance. Now, temperance is very much about balance. It's about you know, making sure that your your day is balanced, your weeks are balanced. Okay, so you know, making time for work, rest, play, me time, social lives, um, and all of those really positive things. Okay, um, now with temperance, do you feel that you know there are um, there is a vision? that you would like to achieve. Okay, so it's about, you know, not rushing things along, just you know, taking your time and ensuring that you can do the best job that you can. Okay, there's also, also possibly some higher learning coming in here, okay? Um, and, you know, we all learn so much on our journeys anyway. Okay, you know, we, our life is a journey. You know, it's not about the destination, as they say, it's about the journey. So. Um, you know, do pay attention to the things that are going on around you. Um, there's definitely higher learning here. Okay, so, you know, the journey that you're on right now, um, you know, to get to your next destination, as it were, you are going to learn a lot of different things. Okay, so it is important to be patient. Okay, it is important that you act with timing and precision as well. Okay, patience and moderation will result in you know good management of your time of your finances um, and that's really going to help you in moving forward so don't feel in the need to rush ahead with different things take your time get through you know this healing that needs to be done here okay so you know being in the present moment letting go of the past so you know putting things in place like forgiveness and gratitude are going to be really beneficial in helping you to move forwards, but also putting boundaries in place um, as well. So, you know, making sure that you've got time for yourself, that you've got time for a social life, that you've got time for self-love, self-development, and all of those positive things. And that's going to bring in a lot more balance around you. When we work, you know, really, really hard, especially as entrepreneurs, we tend to think which is a limiting belief that we have to work really really hard you know if we don't show up you know every 24 hours um in the day then you know we're not going to get noticed we're not going to become visible and blah 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 and you know it's more important that you take the time out so that your energy levels are where you want them to be when we work 24 hours we're gonna you know soon experience burnout so work, rest, play, me time and social life are really, really important. So put whatever you need to put into place to, you know, allow you to have that family time, to have that social time, to have that me time, okay, to get enough rest, to get enough sleep and to eat properly um, as well. So definitely some boundary setting is needed this week to really help you to re-energize, refocus and, you know, be balanced um most importantly so a good time to really start thinking about what isn't serving you anymore and what needs to be left in the past so that you can focus on this present moment 
If you enjoyed the video, please do subscribe to my channel. Lots of different things going on at the moment. Um, you can also find me on Facebook and on my website, www.susieedwards.com. Have an absolutely awesome week, everybody, and I look forward to catching up with you all again next week. Ciao for now.